What are the best affordable small crossover SUVs that you can buy? That's what we're gonna find out. Welcome to Car Help Quarter, where we help you, the consumer, master the process of car buying and car ownership. In this video, I'm gonna go through the top five best subcompact crossover SUVs that you can buy in the market right now for under $30,000. So if you're thinking about buying a crossover SUV, but just want something smaller and more affordably priced, then make sure to stick around until the end of this video. Let's get started with my number five pick on this list, which is going to be a tag team of the Hyundai Kona and Kia Seltos. Why are these two crossovers being lumped together? Well, Kia and Hyundai are both jointly owned companies, and the Kona and Seltos are both mechanically identical SUVs. They are both incredibly well-designed small crossovers with great styling, feature-packed interiors, and both offer amazing value for money. If you're just looking for a small crossover that gives you a lot of features for a really affordable price point, then you can't go wrong choosing either the Kona or the Seltos. You also get a very easy, comfortable driving experience with good handling and strong performance, especially if you go for the optional turbocharged engine. Even though both the Kona and Seltos come standard with a naturally aspirated 2.0-liter 4-cylinder engine that makes around 145 horsepower, you do have the option of a more powerful 1.6 turbo engine if you want that extra performance. In the case of the Kona N-Line, for example, you get 195 horsepower and 195 pound-feet of torque matched to a 7-speed dual-clutch transmission. That gives you a lot more performance than most small crossovers in this price range. The Seltos is also available with the same engine, but detuned a little bit to 175 horsepower. And if you really want to go all out with performance, you can also go for the Kona N, which uses a high output 2 liter turbo engine with around 280 horsepower. Aside from the N variant that's available on the Kona, the only other major difference between these two crossovers is really the size and space that you get. The Kona is the slightly smaller crossover between the two with a tighter interior and smaller cargo area. So if you're looking to maximize interior space and cargo room, then the Seltos is definitely the better choice between the two. Either way, both crossovers offer amazing value for money and are very affordably priced, especially when you consider all of the great features that you get. You also get one of the longest warranties in the market, which is much better than that of most other car brands. So if the Kona and Seltos are such great choices, then why do they come in last place on this list? Both the Kona and Seltos are actually pretty highly rated for reliability, but unfortunately they are also part of a very serious engine safety recall, which is something I've talked about in other videos. Unfortunately, Hyundai and Kia are part of one of the most serious engine recalls in modern history, with over a million vehicles affected between 2011 and 2021. This recall affects both the 2.0-liter and 2.4-liter engines in several models in the lineup, and this includes the 2.0-liter engine found under the hood of both the Kona and Seltos. The problem is that under rare circumstances and due to poor manufacturing methods, these engines can completely seize up and fail or even catch fire. It's very rare to have a total engine failure, but definitely not unheard of, and unfortunately the companies don't have a permanent solution for the problem yet. So even though both the Kona and Seltos are amazingly well-designed SUVs, they're not necessarily the safest picks for those who are looking for the ultimate peace of mind for long-term ownership. That means that these two SUVs are best to buy for a short-term ownership period under warranty or for a three to four year lease where you're not gonna need to worry about any long-term reliability issues. And if that's the case, both the Kona and Seltos are still good options to go for. Now if you are looking for a small crossover SUV that does give you better peace of mind and is better suited to a long-term ownership period, then take a look at my number 4 pick on this list, which is the Honda HRV. There's no question about it, if you want a small SUV that's going to last you for a very long time with strong reliability and low repair costs, then the HRV is a very good choice to go for. It uses a very durable and well-proven 1.8-liter four-cylinder engine, which Honda has been using for an extremely long time. With only around 140 horsepower, the performance is not that great, but it is a very fuel-efficient engine that should save you a lot of money on gas. And because the HRV is known for its strong reliability, it also has one of the highest resale values of any small crossover which means that you're not going to lose a lot of money if you decide to buy one of these and sell it or trade it in down the road. Next to its amazing reliability and resale value, the other thing the HRV has going for it is its amazing interior space. Even though the interior is starting to look pretty dated, this is a very practical SUV with plenty of interior space. 
The best part is Honda's rear magic seats which can not only fold completely flat but can also be folded upright to load taller objects. So if you're looking for a small SUV that maximizes utility then the HRV is a really good choice to go for. And even though the pricing is a little bit higher than some other crossovers, this is still a very good value when you consider all the features that Honda includes, including Honda Sensing Active Safety features, which come standard on every trim level. If you just can't get around how dated the HRV is, then you might want to consider waiting until the second half of 2022, when Honda is going to release a brand new redesigned version of the HRV to North America. The redesigned model of the HRV should address a lot of the issues with the current generation, but in the meantime, if you can't afford to wait and are looking for a crossover that's just a little bit more up to date, then take a look at my number 3 pick on this list, which is the Subaru Crosstrek. The Crosstrek is just a very well-rounded small crossover with a great design, strong long-term reliability, and terrific value for money. Unlike other small crossovers where you have to pay extra for all-wheel drive, the Crosstrek comes standard with Subaru's symmetrical all-wheel drive system, which is a great bonus. The interior is not the most spacious for small crossovers, but it is a very functional and well-designed interior space. And with only around 150 horsepower, the base 2.0-liter 4-cylinder engine doesn't offer the best performance either. Fortunately, Subaru does offer a more powerful 2.5 liter engine on the higher trim levels, which gives you an extra 30 horsepower. The Crosstrek is a very good value though, with excellent pricing, especially when you consider that it comes standard with lots of great features, including Subaru's EyeSight Active Safety technology and symmetrical all-wheel drive. It's definitely a very safe and reliable choice, but if you're looking for something even better, then take a look at my number 2 pick on this list, which is the Mazda CX-30. Mazda absolutely knocked it out of the park with the CX-30, which is definitely one of the best small subcompact crossovers that you can buy on the market. It just has nearly everything going for it, including a great exterior design, a premium upscale feeling interior, great performance, and very strong long-term reliability. If you're looking for a small crossover that has a bit of a luxury feel, then the CX-30 is definitely the one for you. The interior has a great design with amazing build quality that embarrasses some SUVs double its price tag. And not only is it well appointed, but it's a great driving SUV too, with amazing handling and great performance, especially from the 2.5 liter naturally aspirated 4 cylinder engine. Mazda is known for its strong reliability and because they don't mess with any super complicated modern technology, you're going to have a very reliable vehicle for quite a long time. And if you want something that gives you even better performance, comparable to that of say the Kona N, you can also get the CX-30 with a 2.5 turbo engine that makes around 250 horsepower. Considering how many things it does extremely well, the CX-30 is an amazing buy for the money. So if it's such a great crossover, then why hasn't the CX-30 taken the number one spot on this list? Well unfortunately, the CX-30 does sacrifice some practicality in the name of design. For example, the outward visibility is not very good, and it also has a pretty cramped interior with a tight back seat and a very tight cargo area too. At the end of the day, most crossover buyers are looking for space and utility. And if you're looking for these features in an SUV that's up to date, reliable, and offers amazing value for money, then take a look at my number one pick on this list, which is the Toyota Corolla Cross. The Corolla Cross might be a new player to the subcompact crossover market, but it really delivers everything that crossover shoppers are looking for. Even though the Corolla Cross is relatively new, it shares all of the exact same parts as the Corolla sedan and hatchback, which are two of the most reliable and longest lasting cars on the market. This means that the Cross is an amazing choice for long term ownership, and if you want an SUV that's going to last you anywhere from 10 to 15 years without costing a lot of money in repairs, this is definitely an amazing choice. The interior is very functional, straightforward, and easy to use, with plenty of modern features including lots of active safety features as standard on every trim level. You also get plenty of interior space and a very large cargo area that's more spacious than most of the other crossovers on this list. And the Cross is a great driving SUV too with great outward visibility, easy to park and maneuver, and very good ride comfort and handling. The 2 liter 4 cylinder engine doesn't make a lot of power, but it is very fuel efficient, and if you're looking to maximize fuel efficiency even more, there will be a hybrid option available in the second half of 2022. And finally, the Corolla Cross is a very good value with comparable pricing to that of most of the other crossovers on this list. 
At the end of the day, if you're just looking for a well-designed small SUV that gives you plenty of great features and interior space, amazing long-term reliability, and is a great value for the money, then the Corolla Cross is one of the best options on the market. So let me know what you thought of the crossovers on this list. And if you have any suggestions for any future car videos, just leave a comment below. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. You can also take a look at some of my other car videos by checking out these links right over here. Make sure to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. And if you need any additional car buying advice, recommendations, or help with getting a great deal on your next new car purchase, make sure to check out carhelpcanada.com. Thanks so much for watching and see you next time.